I started painting, I started taking it quite seriously when um, I was offered an exhibition. I was 21 and the exhibition went incredibly well. And I think at, the, at that age, you think anything's possible. And, uh, and I, I remember I got over 40 commissions. It was incredibly exciting and I, don't, I never looked back, really. I mean, I really didn't. And I think you just go from strength to strength because when you're working under pressure, you're, you're, you're pushing yourself that much more and you just improve. I'm calling it raining cats and dogs because raining as in um, putting them up on a pedestal because that's where they are for so many of us. As a family, we've always had dogs and, and they, they're the ones that welcome you back home and give you the biggest welcome ever. And the cats, we have had cats because we live on a farm. So the majority of the cats that, I'm, that are going to be in this exhibition are the wild cats and um, the big cats. On the whole, I've seen all the animals that I've, I've, I've painted. Um, but when it comes to big cats, I'm afraid to say I've, I haven't yet got to the Himalayas. So these, th this is an example of, 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 a, of, of a snow leopard that I'm just working on. One finished and this, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens to that. Um, and then here, I've got Wizard, who is the artist dog. Um, he's a lurcher and I've always had lurchers, but he's... This one's my biggest. He is an amazing dog and very sensitive and usually sleeps on my sofa in the studio and I think he enjoys the calm, the painter's work.